Hello traders, FS Collector here. Today is Wednesday, November 13th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian, starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. But don't forget to check out my website, fxpipcollector.com, if you'd like to get access to my swing trade setups, my daily members only live streams on Zoom, and my 34 video trading course, all included for only $30 per month. So anyways, on the US dollar CAD, like I've been saying, I still think it looks like it potentially needs to go down and make a big wave C to complete this A, B, C of B, which would potentially be a crescent to the five ways up for the wave A. Now, like I've been saying, it doesn't really agree with the US dollar analysis. The US dollar makes us think that it might keep going up. So we have to be very careful thinking that this is definitely going to turn because it may not turn. The US dollar index looks like it needs to go up, and if that goes up, then this will also go up too. Taking it down to the weekly time frame, like I said, I mean, it totally looks like a downtrend for an A. It looks like a potential one, two, three waves up for a B. It definitely looks like something that potentially could turn down. It's not a brand new downtrend for a wave C. But if the dollar doesn't go down, then this will not go down either. Heading down to the daily time frame, we did have that big impulse to move down, and it did look like a significant turn. But... To me, it kind of looks like it might end up just being an ABC crutch, and even if it does go down, it might be a wave C. If we're lucky, it's a wave 3, and this really is the end of a wave B, and it really is the continuation of the downtrend. But we definitely should better tell the difference between a wave 3 and a wave C, so either scenario, I don't really care, because we should better tell the difference. Going down to the 4 hour time frame, this is where we had that big impulsive down with the break of structure. I still think this looks like a wave A. To me, this totally looks like 1, 2, 3 waves up for a potential wave B. The 105 area is a target for a potential wave B that is making a higher high. But unfortunately, the 123 and the 138, which is so high you can't even see it, is also a potential target for a wave B. So, like I said, I mean, the trend is up, and honestly, you should be looking for logs until we get some sort of a significant break to the downside. Going down to the one hour time frame. So one hour time frame, the trend is definitely up. And if you spent the last several weeks doing nothing but looking for longs at the end of one, two, three way pullbacks, one, two, three way pullbacks, one, two, three way pullbacks, and you've definitely been doing really well with your trading. So I would definitely continue to look for longs. Now we do have CPI inflation data coming out today. I'm kind of hoping that the CPI inflation data does cause it to go down and break some structure. Hopefully confirm that the higher time frames have the end of a way B or possibly the end of a wave two and that would likely cause either a wave c like i was showing on the higher time frames or possibly a wave three which would be great news because that would confirm that this really is a wave b on the weekly and monthly time frames so don't forget to join my free discord channel which is linked down here in the corner and as always thank you and happy trading